guys, it's Kristen, and today I'm going to be doing a book versus movie review of Before I Fall. Before I Fall is a young adult novel by Lauren Oliver, and I have honestly been meaning to pick up and read a book by Lauren Oliver for a really long time now, but this is the first one I've read by her, and it was really good. I'm really excited to be talking about the book as well as the movie adaptation, which stars Zoe Deutsch, Halston Sage, Logan Miller, and so many more people. It's kind of a Groundhog's Day scenario where a girl named Samantha Kingston ends up reliving the last day of her life over and over and over again until she can get it right. Something that I really loved about this story was how much Sam changed over the seven days that she was reliving the last day of her life. The beginning of the book she has it all, her life is perfect, she's popular, she and her friends are kind of the mean girls of the high school. I think also in the movie we sort of see Sam being a follower. She's not really her own person. It's not that anyone's telling her she needs to do certain things. It's just she's kind of going along with the group and doing what everyone else is doing, uh, whether that's right or wrong. The only things that seem to matter to them are status, boys, parties, drinking, sex. But over time, we really get to see Sam breaking away from that. She starts figuring out what's really important. Her friends, her family, uh, doing the right thing, just figuring out who you are and being a good person. She really grapples with the ideas of what if you only had one more day to live? How do you want people to remember you after you die? How far would you go to save your own life? How far would you go to save the life of someone you don't even really know? There's also this great message of judging a book by its cover. You know, there are so many characters in this book that Sam and her friends dismiss at first. And then over time, Sam starts to realize, like, these people might actually be worth getting to know. Something else that I really liked about this story was the positivity around Sam's friendship. You know, even though her and her friends are kind of the mean girls in the school, there's more to it than that. There's never a moment where Sam is like, these people are terrible human beings. Why am I friends with them? It's more about Sam's reflection and figuring out herself. And it's also about Sam learning more about her friends, maybe learning that they're not as perfect as everyone thinks that they are. They always say, oh, high school, like, the people that are popular, that stuff is fleeting and, you know, they're not true friends. But I think you can see in the story that their friendship was a real true friendship. When it comes to the differences between the book and the movie, I think most of the changes were to make the story a bit more film length friendly, just to shorten things and condense it a bit. There were a lot of little subtle differences. For instance, in the book, the group of friends all wore the same outfit for Cupid Day, whereas in the movie they didn't do that. So, like, a little small changes like that. There were some bigger changes. For instance, their teacher, Mr. Daimler, had a much smaller part in the movie. Basically, there was a lot of flirting with the teacher in the book that ended up turning into this really kind of risque makeout session between Sam and the teacher, and they got rid of that in the movie. And they did have a moment where she, she like, kind of challenged him, but it wasn't to the level or anything like what was in the book. Another big change was for the character Anna. In the book, she was seeing some guy who had a girlfriend and it was just a lot of drama. In the movie, they actually made her a lesbian and she had a much smaller part. I think the main purpose of her role was to kind of be that outsider who tells Sam that high school is just a blip on the radar of your life. A scene that they added to the movie that I thought was unnecessary was Sam ending up having sex with her jerky boyfriend, Rob. In the book, it never ends up happening, and I kind of liked that because it just seemed like he was only with her because he wanted to have sex with her. In the movie, we didn't really get to see much of Rob. There was like one or two scenes that he was in very briefly, but you didn't get to really see the extent of his jerkiness. So I think the reason they added that scene was to really show how much of a jerk he was because they're in the middle of having sex and he's like, I love you. See, is that what you wanted to hear? Which, I mean, nobody would want to hear that in the middle of having sex for the first time. So, <laughs> I think they could have definitely done without that scene. A few other differences, there was a group of girls that Sam and her crew of friends were sort of friendly with, and on one of the rewind days that Sam has, she ends up hanging out with them for a little bit, so that doesn't happen in the movie. There was also a couple of days that I think they kind of combined a little bit, just to speed things up. And I noticed that around some of the Juliet scenes, and I think a little bit around some of the Kent scenes. There's a lot that happens in the book. I mean, the book is actually pretty big. This was like upwards of 400 pages, so 
I can understand why, you know, some things need to be condensed and cut out. I do want to dive a little bit deeper into the team and the cast behind this movie. Not only is the book written by a woman, but the movie is directed by a woman, and the script is written by a woman. The four main core members of the cast are women, which is really cool. There's just a lot of girl power going on. In terms of acting, I was really excited to see Halston Sage in a bigger role. I feel like whenever I see her in a movie, she is a supporting character and she's always playing like this really beautiful but like kind of dumb and sweet girl. That's a lot of the roles that she gets cast at. So it was really cool to see her in something different. Felt a little bit edgier and I thought she did a great job. I was pretty impressed. I kind of had a little bit of mixed feelings on Zoe Deutsch. Sometimes I really liked what she was doing, sometimes I didn't. I think her voiceovers I just didn't love them, and there was a, a bunch of voiceover moments in the movie. I didn't think that we got to see that much of the other two friends, but I thought they had a great energy, and I was glad that we got to see some women of color in there. When it comes to Elena Camporis, I thought that she had a great energy as well, definitely like a little bit of a creepy crazy energy, but I thought she did a good job. I just thought that they dressed her kind of funny. In the book, I don't know, they make her seem a little bit more type A, and in the movie, I thought she kind of looked a little bit like a mess, like she actually looked like a crazy lady that you would find in the woods or something, wearing like homeless hippie kind of clothes. And when it comes to Logan Miller, I think they did a good job with his casting. There was something endearing about him and sweet, but I think he took a little bit of time to grow on you, which is kind of what's happening for Sam. So I thought that that casting was like pretty on point. If I had to choose between the book and the movie, you gotta go with the book. You know, I mean, the book is always, most of the time, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time, the book is better than the movie. Just because you get to see so much more, you really get to dive into the things that you can't dive into in a two-hour movie. But I did think this was a pretty good book-to-movie adaptation. I thought they stayed close to the original story in uh, most points. I think the story really makes you think about a lot of different things. About yourself and the type of person you want to be, about how you want other people to perceive you, about how you treat other people, and about how your actions can affect other things. And I really enjoyed it. I think that there was a lot of great messages there. I would love to know your thoughts on Before I Fall. Have you read the book or watched the movie yet? Let me know. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click that subscribe button because I come out with new videos every week. See ya!